What's up guys and welcome to another Eagle Duel Link. So today we'll be doing Archetype analysis on the Archetype on the Dynamis monsters. So this Dynamis monster is essentially built up of machine type monsters that quickly resembles dinosaurs. So you can think of them as the Dino Bots from Transformers, but they have very great amazing effects overall as well. So first up they have a pendulum scale of 3 and 6. First, all their monsters are all level 4s and level 5s Meaning if you were to drop into a scale of 3 and 6 With other monsters in hand You could essentially just pendulum summon those monsters during that turn Without fearing you might join to something 1 level lower or 1 level higher So first up, I'd like to let you guys know how, how the Dynamis archetype for the pendulum effect goes So first up, you have the pendulum effect of, of battle and card effect protection from these from your dynamis monsters from getting destroyed along with negation that's right negation if your dynamis monster is targeted by a card effect you could essentially pop the monster in the pendulum zone to negate that effect as well so you don't actually need to have any other forms of negation like um dark bribe or maybe or maybe something like a uh, um, what's, what's that other trap card called? Anyways, you don't need to use any of those since they have their own effects that give protection for their monsters overall. So, as you can see, you I have I played two types of Dynamis monsters with the pendulum effects of giving card effect protection, whereas I play another tree which offers battle protection as well. So, different skills and also different effect of protection for, based on their skills. So if you were to draw either a skill 3 or skill 6 and set them on the field during that turn You can guarantee that your monsters are safe during your opponent's turn when they try to activate something First up, I would like to also let you guys know of the card called Dynamic Power Load which is the field spell So this is an added bonus of 300 points of attack And it prevents your opponent from activating anything until the end of the damage step this is literally letting your Dynamis monsters become ancient gear golems of their own ability. Cards such so I do recommend you guys to get Dynamis Rex if you are able to, because it afflicts piercing damage and attack monsters a few times in a row. This is literally Kachi Kochi Dragon crossover with Ancient Gear Golems effect. Another effect that Dynamis Rex owns is basically shuffling a card in your opponent's hand or on their side of the field back to the deck so if your opponent has something annoying that has a larger point of attack on their field shuffle that monster back to the deck and go on with your attack not to mention if you have the field spell is a guaranteed otk during that turn so aside from the dynamis rex you also have dynamis spinos so dynamis spinos if you as you see as you know dynamis rex most of the monster effects for the attackers in this deck you tribute a dynamis monster in order to gain those effects and for dynamis spinos case you can attack your opponent directly or attack twice in a row so during the each of the battle phase you can attack twice not to mention if you would have dynamis ankylos on the field you can those monsters that were destroyed with dynamis during the battle with dynamis are essentially banished that's right, they are banished, removed from play. That means they cannot activate any graveyard effects. So monsters like White Stone of Ancient or White Stone of Legends, along with some other cards that activate when they are sent to the graveyard, essentially do not trigger because they are banished. And even if you do not have Anklos on the field, Dynamic Power Load literally prevents them from activating until the end of the damage step. However, for cards that are sent to the graveyard and activate effects during the end phase of the turn does trigger. That's one thing you need to be aware of. Not to mention, you also have uh, I, you also have the trap cards, which essentially let you special summon dynamis monsters from your deck, and they are unaffected by spell and traps. This means your monsters is literally free from get, from any card effects that might actually affect the monsters' attack points. Or prevent it from attacking during that turn however this card is destroyed at the end phase so that is one thing you might need to keep an eye out for but if it even if those monsters even if these monsters were to be set from the field 
whether in the monster zone or the pendulum zone gets sent to the extra deck you have the continuous spell called dynamis charge which literally allows that monster that was sent there to be added back to your hand and this is a once per turn effect so do keep in mind when you want to do this but if you're gonna use dynamis rush and you do not have dynamis charge you'll be essentially building up your, pen your ex uh, pendulum monsters in your extra deck so you can special summon them during that turn the pendulum effects of these monsters added at both battle protection and also negate effects that targets dynamis monsters they don't necessarily need any negation negation type of car trap cards or spell cards in your deck because the dynamis monsters are independently standing on their own to protect their monsters and their and their cards so what i would play what i play for this deck is using two double cyclones and two counter gates because you do encounter certain monsters that actually attack you directly so you actually would use counter gate to negate the attack then draw an extra card because the bonus card is always welcome not to mention double cyclone is added just so that when you activate any of these trap card effects you can pop as after they have been activated you can destroy them then you can literally pop something on on your opponent's side of the field be it a field spell a spell or trap that's currently in the back row whether it's face up or face down just pop it just like that the field spell is of course as i've said is very good not to mention all the attackers such as Dynamis Rex and Spinos actually lets you do an OTK as well. Not to mention you if you were to have Dynamis Terran on the field and it destroys a monster, it actually functions as a searcher that adds Dynamis monster cards from or trap cards from your field from your deck to your hand. Not from field, sorry. I'm very excited. Not to mention if you were gonna have Dynamis Stegosaurus. If another pendulum monster you control battles an opponent's monster, after damage calculation, destroy that monster. Essentially, if a monster you control were to attack, such as uh, some Karakuri monsters or something that can that cannot be destroyed once per turn, you can literally let that monster be destroyed using Stegosaurus effect. But I would rather have Stegosaurus as a pendulum zone card because of its effect. So if you want to go for an attack, I would recommend using Dynamis Spinos. Dynamis Rex and also Dynamis Terran. Ankylos is a great card to have on the field in defense position as a defense wall at 2000 points of attack. Not to mention it gains a boost if you have dynamic power load at 23 points of defense. Literally your opponent has to, you have to go higher than 2000 just to destroy the cards that you currently have. And if your opponent were to have something slightly higher attack points, you have plus seals to decrease those monsters attack based on how many Dynamis monsters monsters or spell and trap you currently control on the field if you have a full field then ex then excluding it then excluding itself you literally decrease your opponent's attack points by 600 so even if they will use power of guardian they will still have to get get a certain amount of attack points in just to get over monsters like dynamis spinos at 2800 with field spell present along with dynamis rex at 2700 points of attack I'm using the skill beat down because the end game would actually to bring out Dynamis Spinos and go for the go for the final attack, be it attacking directly or literally by by battle against the opposing monster. I'm using one copy of uh, number 91 Thunder Spark Dragon is because there are certain conditions where you actually don't get into pendulum skills or you actually have have, have a very bad hand. So as you can use use this as a back this card as a backup just in case because of its effect of detaching the materials and destroying all other face up monsters on the field. Not to mention if you were to use this effect and you have other dy dyno dynamis monsters on the field, you can literally use dynamis charge to essentially recycle that card back into your hand instead of going to the pendulum zone. And if you do manage to actually destroy the cards and also you still have yet to pendulum summon during that turn. Once you destroy all face-up cards on the field, you can Pendulum Summon that turn as well to go for an OTK. Not to mention, you, however, you need to actually finish the game using Dynamis Monsters because the field spell itself narrates it. So even so, that means if you would attack with Thunderspunk Dragon, you essentially would be exposed to your opponent using Wall of Disruption or Drowning Mirror Force. But overall. There, uh, there is hardly a situation where I actually needed to add Seize into Thunderspark Dragon, not to mention 
the entire card of the entire panel effect of negation and battle protection is literally right there in the Pelham zones as you can see for Pelham skill tree you have all the bell protection but bell protection and monster destruction and whereas in scale number six you have negation of activated card effects but it's better if i show you the, the, the deck in play so let's get right into a duel shall we Okay, live boosts are that's actually you quite dangerous for him. He only has two cards in hand, but let's see how it goes. So first up, you have Dynamis Rush in hand along with Play Seals. Then you have another card called Stegosaur in hand. You can essentially pendulum summon during that first turn. Not to mention with Dynamis Rush in the set on the field, you can bring out that other monster during the next following turn. So now with spinals on the field not to mention we have spell and trap destruction protection along with bell protection we are essentially safe for this turn and let's see he t sets that's fine wow three card deck that's actually quite weird okay so right now i bring out ankylos so ankylos whenever it, a dynamis monster battles it is banned that monster is banished instead of going to the graveyard right now i i tribute spinals to essentially gives it the attacking twice in a row effect so once i destroy it i use the pendulum effect to bring it back out onto the field meaning i have three attacks for this turn and with that amount of life points i better do a lot of damage too bad i didn't manage to get the fuel spell if i manage to get the fuel spell then i'll have an added bonus of attack not to mention negate any cards he, he would actually plan to have during the battle phase but with the cards set in the pendulum zone i've already the protection i need for that turn if he has a Gigeki break or maybe a wall disruption the wall disruption targets all which is essentially which doesn't doesn't actually help but only cards that target are actually the ones getting negated so five brothers explosion he gains 500 points of a, uh, 500 life points that isn't gonna help him much but let's see how he's gonna do the crack okay he sets again that's pretty much an otk already so now i'll just tribute ankylos so that i can attack directly then pendulum summon ankylos back onto the field just in case my opponent has a kite roid in hand that way i can remove from play that set monster regardless activating beatdown for the extra spice of attack it's not necessary but i just like to give it a little flair so yeah this is how you play dynamis you have the protection on the field and a set and a spell and trap that allows you to actually gain a much more advantage if your opponent were to do something so yeah this is it this is my deck analysis for this entire archetype known as dino mist if you have any recommendations to actually play much more much more combos with the dino mist archetype aside from the cards such as double cyclone and counter gate you can you can literally you literally must have these few other spell and traps supports for the dino mist archetype there is also a trap card called dino mist eruption so when your monster is destroyed by card effect or battle you can target a card your opponent controls and destroy it instead so it's kind of like a eye for an eye kind of combo but due to the pendulum card the cards in the pendulum zone that offers both card effect protection and also battle protection so this card is kind of it's kind of redundant so i didn't actually put it in my deck the time that i did put inside my deck is literally it becomes a brick and it takes up the space in my in my spell and trap zones but if you were to play it inside the archery world using arch 5 character that actually has swing into action and pendulum zones in play you can literally use this use this card if you want to but i do not recommend playing more than two copies of it inside your deck because it might also because it's first of all it's a trap card and it might be kind of slow if you if you didn't if your dynamis monster were to be disrupted in a way but overall for the entire combo of protection is literally there so this card might might seem redundant already 
The reason I do not play Dynamis Ceratops, first off, it's level 5, it's at 2100 points of attack, and it's machine, it's monster effect itself, lets it be, lets it to be special summoned onto the field, and that's about it. That, the same also goes with Dynamis Brachion, it has the same effect as Dynamis Ceratops, so if you do, if, since these two are level 5, you can go into a rank 5 Xyz play, such as uh, maybe Triple D Marksman King Tell or a Cyber Dragon Core, however, Cyber Dragon Nova, sorry. But like I said, if you're gonna play Cyber Dragon Nova and you do not have Cyber Dragons, it's gonna be a very weird, redundant kind of play overall. So I do not recommend you doing that. So that's it for my Dino Miss Archetype analysis and also a demonstration of how this deck can be played. Not to mention the few protect the few and the few other tips I can give. So if you want if you are also playing this archetype and you want to recommend a few a few changes to the deck, such as adding more uh, slightly much more spell and trap for machine types, do let me know in the comments below. And but best of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. P pin down your, your thoughts and, uh, and also opinions in the comments below. And I will reply to them immediate as soon as I can. So until then, thank you so much for watching, and also I hope you guys enjoyed. While well, I'm I'm repeating myself, but I really hope you guys like this archetype because this archetype itself ha is literally is literally quite on the dot and offers a lot of its own protection and also its own certain combos. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you soon in the next video. Stay safe, but most important of all, keep dueling. Goodbye.